One thing I love about my dealership and one of the reasons I've been here six years is because sometimes we are tasked to do some amazing stuff. Like today, because apparently we just got dropped off something very, very cool. This is the Genesis GB60. Let's talk about it. One thing I just want to get out of the way early. This car is dirty because it just arrived and my manager says I'm not even allowed to drive it to get cleaned up. So we're going to have to deal with a little bit of dirt. But aside from that, the GV60 really is setting off Genesis into a new trajectory because Genesis will soon be a pure electric brand and the GV60 is kicking it off for us. So what's the story with this GV60? Well, this car arrived at a dealership because it will be used as a training tool for the technicians that need to maintain these cars and replace parts on these cars. So this is actually a service trainer. Now, another thing that's a bit odd is that you can see the color for yourself. It is a matte gray vehicle. But as you can also see on the official US spec color charts, there is no matte gray option for the GV60. So what I believe is that it's a pre-production car that they're using for training the Texan. Now, if you've been doing any type of research on these electric Genesis, you will know that the GV60 come in two varieties. One is the advanced and the other is the performance. And this specific one happens to be the advanced. And the easiest way to tell are those rims. The advanced model comes with 20 inch rims wrapped in Michelin. And although the performance also does have Michelins, those bring 21 inch rims. Now, what is the performance of the advanced? I'm glad you asked because if we're talking horsepower, this vehicle can actually give you 314 horsepower and 446 pound feet of torque. Just to put in perspective, the Nissan Z sports car will have a twin turbo V6 cranking out 400 horsepower, but only 350 pound feet of torque. So this Genesis four door family hauler will have nearly 100 pound feet of torque more than a sports car. And not only will it go, it will go immediately because pure electric cars have instant torque. Oh, and by the way, if you are looking for cars, make sure you click that link in the description below that says schedule with Miguel. That way I can guarantee that once you get here, you'll be getting me because you cannot get the deals I'm given if you do not ask for me. So click the link below, schedule with me, and let's make it happen. But back to the GV60. Now, for all of you that want to know the intricacies of the battery and the capacities, this has a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery. And if you happen to get the advanced package, like this car is, you can expect 248 miles of range. And keep in mind, all the GV60s at this point in time are all wheel drive. And speaking of charging, one of the best things about the GV60 is that it has the same 800 volt charging architecture as the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and the Kia EV6, meaning that if you can find a quick charger, you can go from 10% battery to 80% battery in 18 minutes. That is one eight minutes. And if you only have five minutes to spare, you will still gain 60 miles in that five minute charge on the quick charger. So the whole premise of electric cars taking forever to charge is out the window with the GV60. And it is covered by a fantastic warranty. 10 years, 100,000 mile powertrain, five years, 60 bumper to bumper, and five years of roadside assistance at no additional cost. Now we're able to get into the fun stuff because this next feature is the famous Genesis Smart Park. So from the key, you can actually have the car turn on and then move either forward or backwards in or out of a garage. But you can actually have it park itself even if you're not sitting in the driver's seat. It could parallel park, reverse park, all at the push of a button from the key fobs. Popping over the hood, you will see a few interesting things. Obviously, you have coolant reservoir and washer reservoir for your washer fluid, but you do not have an engine because again, it is an electric car. But what you lose in engine, you make up for with extra room. And this has a front trunk or a frunk as I call it for short. And although it is not the biggest one, sometimes you don't need a massive amount of room. Let's say you have a bunch of small items that you need to have stay in a relatively small area. This would be a perfect place to actually put it. But if you do have big cargo needs, then go ahead, open up that rear tailgate and look at all the space that you have. Being that it is a crossover, you have more than enough space for the daily essentials of life. 
more cool and techy stuff, the GV60 is the first Genesis to actually bring facial recognition technology. So if you're at the beach, you don't even need to bring a key. Leave all your valuables inside the car, look at this little circle, and the car will recognize your face. Now, once you're actually inside of the car, all you need to do is use the fingerprint reader so you could turn on the car. So technically, the GV60 does not require a key to operate. But when you actually hit the on button, something amazing happens. This little sphere that looks oh so cool and futuristic -y actually rotates into place. So if you want to go into drive, pop it into drive, reverse neutral, or park it with that same button. And when you turn the car off, it rotates back into that cool looking futuristic -y sphere. Hopping into the front seat, you can see the layout of the dash and it is quite lovely, but I want to start with the layout of the steering wheel because apparently the complaints must have hit the ears of the designers when it came to the oval steering wheel of the GV80 because as you can see, the steering wheel in the GV60 actually looks more of like a bow tie, which I quite like. Now, on the bottom of the steering wheel, you will see something called drive mode. That actually allows you to change the way the vehicle acts in certain traffic conditions. And something good is that since you have the digital display, it actually changes the display layout every time you cycle through the different drive modes. Now, it seems to be one of the interior design philosophies of Genesis is to give them more when it comes to your infotainment because this have a 12.3 inch color touchscreen that you could use for menus or navigation. And a bonus being that you do have so much real estate on that navigation is that you can actually see the 360 degree camera, not just what's in front or behind you, but actually a top-down view of what is around you when you're parking. Now, if you're considering this vehicle, you're probably wondering what the space is like in this electric crossover, when I have to tell you, it is very adequate. Now, I've hopped from the front seat to the rear seats and I had no issues, but if you happen to be sitting in the rear, you can actually push the buttons on the side of the front passenger seat if you're a little bit long-legged and need a little bit of extra room. And a benefit of sitting in the back is not only do you have the space, but you have the beautiful sunroof. So if you live in a beautiful state where the sun is just right, open up the shade and let that light shine through. Now, a really neat feature integrated into the Genesis GV60 is called V2L. It stands for vehicle to load, which means you can use your car as a mobile battery bank because you could plug in devices around the house that uses AC power to actually power them on the go. So things like laptops, TVs, or even a refrigerator, you can have your car power. So suffice to say that with vehicle to load, you will be the bell of the ball no matter where you go. If you're having a birthday in the park or you are at the tailgating before the big game, you will be loved. And vehicle to load is available on the GV60. Absolute game changer. And so guys, this was the new Genesis GV60 electric car. And no, I didn't talk about every single little detail in the car because it would take way too long and I'm too far for that. But if you like this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share. And make sure to hit the bell notification so you could be alerted to the newest videos I post on the channel. But until next time, I'm the Gary Car Guy, and I'll see you soon. Lucy doesn't see us. Let me see if I can move it on him. To work. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, it was moving, it was moving. Look at him, look at him, he's like, what's going on? He's like, who's moving it? Okay, it's not moving. Ah, he saw us, he saw us, he saw us.